we have identified using some of our sonar equipment today that there is something right over here that we're going to show you today. We don't exactly know what it is yet ourselves, so we're going to get in the water, suit up, and we're going to show you. Hang tight. Here we go. Yesterday, Patrick found a cash box, however... And a beer can. And a, tink, a beer can. What was in the uh, cash box yesterday, Pat? Mud. Well, that's the story we're going with anyway. There could have been mud. There could have been cash. You guys will never mud. know. It was mud. It was definitely mud. That was definitely the story we're sticking with. Pat. 180. 270. Got it? Thank <laughs> you. 
Cars right there, did you know that? Uh huh. And I said, we'll be back in a week or two to pull them out. Yeah, one's a Honda. You don't know what the other, the other one's really old. It's probably uh, 50s or 50s. We got some uh, bottles and some pliers and some cars. Incredible diving tonight, right off of Suzanne and Lynn's house. We found not one, but we found two cars. That's right, we found a new Honda, not completely undiscovered. The tags were expired in 1988. Pat, the doors are intact. The trunk is still closed. Are we going to find the body when we do bring this one up this time? The body? The body. How do you know there's a body in there? A body. We don't know. A one, body. One of these times, we are going to find a body. So stay tuned for that one if you've not already done so. Be sure to subscribe because we are coming back for that car. It could be this coming Saturday. It could be two or three Saturdays from now. We have no idea. Did How long have you been here? Uh, we've been here for about two years. Okay, so you had no idea that there was a car, let alone two cars down there. No idea that there was one really there. People okay. have talked about cars going off, uh -huh. and we have signs up the road saying, Don't dump your car don't here. Don't dump your car here. <laughs> right, <laughs> no, don't drive into the water here. In addition to that, here's some other stuff. Normally we get a lot more garbage, but we were checking out those cars, and mm -hmm. this is just a new area for us, so we just kind of wanted to get a lay of the land. Mm -hmm. So some of the stuff that we did find today, I'm going to dirty up your dock a little bit here. Sure. Is that all right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I ended up, so as far as your little uh, evening, you know, beverage, no, it's nice I'll... and cool if you and Lynn want to crack this one open later on. I think I'll take a rain check. Um, I do have a clamp for you. Do you need a seat clamp for any reason? Yeah, I can use a seat clamp. I don't think that one's going to work for you. No, I don't think so. Exactly. We ended up with a, pop, a couple of pop cans, a couple of bottles. We're always excited also when we get oh, glass out of the rivers. Oh, yes, you never know when nice. somebody's going to step on that one. Right. And then an old pair of pliers. So those are the finds that we found on this little short dive. That wraps up another episode of Adventures with your Purpose. Channel. Adventures with Purpose. <laughs> That's right. What's the purpose? No one knows. <laughs> getting the garbage, getting the uh, debris, getting the cars, getting the oil and the gasoline out of the rivers. That's the purpose. If you've not already done so, make sure to subscribe and turn on that little bell notification. That way, you can watch more of these. That's it for now. Later, later. Bye-bye. <laughs>